Vidra College, Colombo. Environmental Studies, Grade 1. Different Places Where People Work, Part 1. Hello children, I am your teacher from Vidra College. Today I brought you another ENV lesson. Our lesson is different places where people work. Before start the lesson, let's recall what we have learned last week. Last week our lesson was about light. Play with light. There we learned that without light or eyesight we are unable to see anything. That means we need light and eyesight to see everything. And then we learn about shadow. In the morning shadow is long, at noon shadow is short, in the evening shadow is long again. And to form the shadow we need light. Then we learnt about reflection. Mirrors, clear water surfaces reflect sunlight. And also sunlight can be directed in different directions by using mirrors. Then we learnt about natural sources that give us light and artificial objects that give us light. Also we learned there how to control sunlight. You can have umbrellas, you can fix curtains, you can fix blinds and the roof of your house controls the sunlight also. Finally we learnt about how do we feel sunlight. When you disclose to the sunlight directly it is so hot and you feel uncomfortable. But if you stand under a tree or a shelter, we feel very comfortable. We learnt about those last week. Now we'll see what we are learning today. As I told you earlier, our lesson today is different places where people work and our lesson divided into two parts. In part one you can learn about different occupations, the places where people work, tools used by workers. In part two you can learn safety equipments that people wear, products produced by workers, accidents that can happen in workplaces, and importance of working together. In this lesson today we are only learning about part one. So let's move on to the lesson. Our first topic is occupations. Different occupations. What are occupations children? Occupations are the work that a person does regularly in order to earn money. In simple word we can call them as jobs. So people do jobs to earn money. Your parents, adults, your relations, your elder siblings may be doing occupations to earn money. So they have a duty, a task or a function in their jobs and also they have some responsibilities to do at their job. Also the jobs requires a very great effort. In this picture you can see some people in their uniforms. They are doing different jobs. For an example, we will take nurse and doctor. 
they are the ones who are taking care of patients they give medicine to patient they observe them find the difficulties of them and their task is to treat them well and they are responsible on the patient's life likewise different occupations has different task different duties and different responsibilities as little children we have to respect all of them there isn't any good occupation or any bad occupations all the occupations are respectful so we have to respect them next up we are learning about different places where people work in this picture you can see a farmer he has a mamati in his shoulder so where does he go he is going to the paddy field where he cultivate plants or the paddy so some farmers works at paddy field what do you think about this picture here you can see some animals okay some farmers work at animals farm so they are the ones who raised animals to give us dairy products and meat and there are some another type of farmers look at this picture you can see in this picture this farmer is cultivating some vegetables so he works at a vegetable farm like this people work different places we'll go through some examples now take a look at this picture children who works in this building site engineers construction workers architect helpers working this building site that is their working place sometimes engineers and architect can be work in a office but their duty and their responsibility is to attend at the building site and check whether the work are going well let's move on to our next example next up we have pictures of some factory in sri lanka there are so many different factories all over the country most of them are clothing factories tea factories rubber production factories food factories shoe factories also there so who are working there factory workers directors managers cleaners packagers and also drivers are working in factories their workplace is factory our next example is brick mason works at brick production sites here you can see some pictures of sri lankan clay brick production sites and also some cement brick production sites
Here we have some more examples. We will pick some occupations and check where do they work. Train conductor. He works at a train or a train station. Waiter or chef. Works at a restaurant or a hotel. A businessman can work in his own office. The nurse and doctor. They work in the hospital. And we have an electrician. Electrician also can work in a building site. And we have a dentist. Dentist can work in a dental clinic or in a hospital. Like that these people are working in different places. Next up we are learning about tools used by workers. You know children, if your father is fixing something in his vehicle, he need to have some tools. Think about your teacher. She also uses so many tools in the classroom. She uses whiteboard, marker pens, writing pens, charts, ruler, duster, books and there are so many. Like that to do different occupations they need to have different kind of tools. Look at these examples. First example is a mamati. Farmers, construction workers use mamati to dig the ground and also the shovel. It is used to dig the ground or collect something from ground. Then we have a sickle. Sickle is kind of important thing which is used by farmers to cut the harvest. Then we have the rake. Cleaners, farmers use rake to collect things. What about these examples? We have trowel, saw, hammer and pliers. Basically, saw and hammer used by carpenters. Pliers used by electricians or carpenters. What about trowel? Farmers or the cleaners use trowel. Here we have some different tools used by doctors. Stethoscope, tweezer, tray, thermometer, bandage, surgical scissors, eyeglasses and syringes and lot of tools are here. So my children, can farmers use these tools to cultivate? No. Can doctors use mamati, shovel, sickle or whatever other tools for their profession? No. These tools are specialized for doctors. Like that, each and every occupation has their different tools to use in their jobs. Look at here. Here are the tools used by firefighter. Fire suit, hat, water pipe, boots, axe, ladder and fire engine. Okay. Can a carpenter use these tools to make some furniture? No. Can firefighter use a doctor's tools to their profession? No. 
these tools are specialized for firefighters. Okay, we learned many examples for these tools. Here we come to the conclusion of our lesson. Before conclude this lesson, I would like to suggest you an activity. Look at these pictures and take some examples and make a chart on different places that people work. You can mention the occupation and their working place in your chart. So my dear children, hope you all enjoyed this lesson. We will learn further about this lesson in our next video. Have a good day.